Hello everybody and welcome! I have been noticing that a lot of you guys have been asking about the console version of Kerbal Space Program after the 1.6 update for PC was released. That's very understandable since all of you console Kerbinauts are on a very much outdated version of KSP for consoles. The current one, called the Enhanced Edition, was released almost exactly one year ago in January 2018 and is based on KSP 1.2.2, which was released for PC in December 2016, 13 months earlier. So basically all KSP console players are now more than two years behind all of us from the PC gaming master race. But this will change. Squad have confirmed that they are working on a substantial update for consoles. Great! So when is it coming and what will be in it? Well, that part is not so easy to answer. Squad isn't working on KSP for consoles themselves. A studio called Blitworks, who specialize in porting games to consoles, is doing the heavy lifting. They basically had to build the enhanced edition from scratch after the not so well received previous console version done by Flying Tiger. In regards to timeline, well, the only inofficial time frame I managed to get out of people familiar with the matter was this year. Personally, I would think an update around the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission would be a nice touch, but for some reasons I doubt that will happen. But anyhow, we are stuck with 2018 at the moment. Whether that means the first or second half of 2019, they wouldn't say. Maybe they couldn't. Because what they are attempting is not a straight port of KSP for PC. Four major versions, not counting the bug fix releases, have been released for PC since the Enhanced Edition came out. What they are planning now is cherry picking things from the various PC updates and then create sort of a greatest hits of features PC players already have. What will they contain? Well, in an official development diary they mentioned revamped parts and the variant switcher and hinted at other things. I was not able to coax more out of them, unfortunately. So yeah, that's where we stand at the moment. And here's my take on this. Since that outlined plan means development of KSP for consoles and PC will drift significantly apart from each other, we will probably not see the Making History DLC being ported to console as well. I also don't see how they could integrate the Mission Builder to be used with gamepads, but hey, maybe I'm just being unimaginative. In general, I see the forking of console and PC development as risky. Cherry picking only parts of the software to be updated could potentially introduce new problems. Also, we do not know if the Unity update implemented in KSP version 1.4 will also be put into the new substantial console update. Then there is the increasing uncertainty the longer they need to work on the update. Both Sony and Microsoft are working on new versions of their consoles. When will they be coming out? Some claim potential release dates as early as at the end of 2019, some say not before 2021 comes around. If the new hardware ships earlier, then the longer squad and Blitworks wait with the new substantial console update, the higher the probability people will soon move to the new systems. I have not delved too much into this matter, so I have no idea how the PlayStation 5 or Xbox 2 will deal with backwards compatibility. Hey, if you know, tell me in the comments. Alright, this has been a quick update on what's going on with Kerbal Space Program on consoles. Even though I don't plan on playing KSP on a console anytime soon, I root for you console mods that you will get a good update. Hopefully sooner than later. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Also, you can watch one of the two cool videos shown on the right. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.